Good morning, welcome to San Diego. Um, we are here because I'm competing in Chula Vista again today, but we are also here because we are staying here now. Um, so we had to be out of our Airbnb in Santa Barbara on Friday. That was our last day and unfortunately he's booked for the next month. And that was the only reasonable Airbnb we were able to find um, in the area. We got really, really lucky with that spot. Um, like when we put in our criteria in Airbnb, which is a full kitchen with air conditioning and under $300 a night, <laughs> which is like still double what we want to be paying, but that's what we put the, the price at. The only thing that comes up is campers. So yeah, we had to leave Santa Barbara, unfortunately. Um, it's a little bit cheaper down here in San Diego, so we were able to find this Airbnb that we'll be in for our remaining 16 days now. And I actually met a high school coach through Instagram who is letting us train at his track. So we have a facility and yeah, we're all set here. So we've just spent the past few days getting settled here. It's been a bit of a stressful week, but I don't really want to talk about that. I don't want to put any more stress into it than I already have. Um, maybe I'll talk about it later. And yeah, I'm just going to have a slow, easy morning and get ready to compete later this evening. I don't compete till 5. I haven't competed that late in a while, so it's going to be a long day. Anywho, we'll talk to you later. Alright, so for breakfast, I'm just having a couple plain Jane just add water pancakes. Just need some carbs. Plain Jane? These are not just plain Jane. What is fancy about them? Just gonna have a couple pancakes. Probably head outside and do like some really easy like skipping and just kind of like moving around in the driveway just because I don't want like the first time that I move around today to be when we arrive at the track. Maybe come inside, do some stretching and stuff and yeah, just lay low, really try to stay relaxed and eventually start to get pumped up and ready to go. Alright, just heading outside to move around a bit. Um, like I said, when I compete later in the day, I like to do something when I wake up, so I'm not just sitting around all day. So I'm going to find a flat part of cement. Never mind, it's raining. I'm going to wait a bit. Ah. <sighs> All right, I think it stopped raining, so we're gonna try this again. Here we go. All right, so a little shakeout complete. I'm on a pretty steep incline, so it was kind of interesting. So yeah, body feels pretty good. And now I'm just gonna count down the hours, I guess. Yeah, I'm pretty excited. It's not um, a competitive field like it was last week, but I think it's still a really good opportunity to 
put a good mark out there and kind of build on what I've been doing. I was thinking to myself yesterday, like, there really hasn't been a lot of instances in my career where jumping 14 meters at a given competition is like a real possibility. So I need to take advantage of like being in this place, like right here, like um, this is exactly where I need to be. It's a possibility that it can happen. So like, let's take advantage of it. Um, let's make it happen. I try not to be too number focused. Like it's so easy to just get like so caught up in all that. But I think if I can focus on what I've been focusing on this past week in the competition and I can make like this really minor change, then I think I can definitely do it. But I don't want to overthink it. I kind of just want to let it happen. But I need to think about it a little bit. This sport is complicated. I'm going to go back inside and just try to have a good lead up to five o'clock. Showtime. All right, had a little bit of a nap. Rolled out a little bit, not too much. I want a little bit of like stiffness in the legs. I don't want to feel like a, like a. Limp noodle? Yeah, a limp noodle. Perfect, perfect analogy. Would you like turkey, oven roasted turkey breast or mesquite smoked turkey breast? Mesquite. I don't know what that is, but. I think it's a type of wood. What? I want to eat wood. So Taylor is the best and he's making me a little sammy that I can try my hardest to eat. Honestly, I feel a little bit sick, like with nerves, not with COVID or anything else. So yeah, I'm going to try to eat that. It's cloudy out, but I don't think it's raining in Chula Vista. It's like 18 degrees, which is... Very, very nice. Never get sick of that. All right, we're just about ready to head out. Um, I'm just gonna quickly show you guys some essentials that I bring with me on meat day. Uh, so I got my water bottle, my pre-workout, a jacket. I don't really know what the weather's gonna be like that. It's not like super hot here. It's a little bit wet, so I don't know what's gonna be like there. My spikes, of course, my sunglasses, um, caffeine pills. This is obviously isn't the right case for the caffeine pills, but there is caffeine pills in here. Same, some painkillers just in case I need some extra stuff. Cliff bar in case I get hungry. Extra contacts. Some um, eye drops just in case my eyes get dry. This like topical stuff that I put on my knees. It's basically just like a lot of caffeine and a lot of um, like painkiller related things, um, which I'm hoping I won't need, but it's good to be prepared just in case. It's about a half hour away. It's like 20 minutes away with tolls or 30 minutes away without tolls. We don't really know if our rental car is equipped um, to just like go through a toll. And I don't really know what kind of like change you need to go through a toll. I just don't understand tolls at all. So we're just gonna avoid it and take the way this 10 minutes longer. So see you in Chula Vista. Alrighty, we have made it and it is quite windy. This is a like a, bit. a solid like plus six wind yeah. right now. If it was directly behind you, it would be, yeah. Um, so hopefully it kind of calms down in the next few hours. Or hopefully it's like a cross or something. Um, yeah, it's a little, a little chilly, but. What can you do? Yeah. Uh, so yeah, we, it is. What time is it? Shortly after three. Carol jumps at five, so she'll be on the. Oh my god! If this is the sign of what's to come today, hot dog on a stick. If you guys follow us closely, you know that in summers past we have worked at a fair, at a corn dog stand. Hot dogs on a stick really resonate with me. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, so yeah, she, uh, Carol will be on the runway at about. 4.30, so we're just gonna hang out kind of until then. She's obviously gonna warm up. And then, uh, yeah, let the show begin. Typically, that's when you say, we're just gonna hang out a bit, probably play some Mario Kart. But yeah. we didn't bring Mario Kart. Forgot it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, <laughs> we're headed home. 
we outy. So started to get a little more wet out there and like we said quite chilly and that's all fine I'm willing to compete in the rain willing to compete in the cold then we got down there and I saw the male long jumpers on the runway and I was like what because the events the horizontal um, jumping events went women's long jump men's long jump men's triple jump women's triple jump which means they're like a whole event behind because when we were arriving men's triple jump should have been starting um so i was like oh dear god and i went and checked and yeah they were just starting men's long jump so they were gonna have to do the six jump then the male triple jumpers would have to do their warm-up get started there's 16 of them and then me so all those things on their own cold weather rain a massive delay i can deal with it not a problem but when they're all happening simultaneously, um, it's not really worth it to me. I wasn't gonna sit in the rain and the cold for three hours. There's not a lot of shelter there. We're like 40 minutes away from our Airbnb. So it's a tough call. And I told Taylor, it's hard to not feel like a total like baby, but like I know myself well enough that I probably wasn't going to have the performance that I'm looking to have in those conditions. So I would rather not compete today, be able to go to practice tomorrow um, and have a normal week of training because you know, when you compete on a Sunday, it kind of, you have to rework the whole week. So anyways, now I'll get a solid week of training um, heading into Mount Sac, which is gonna be a really important meet for me. And I think that's the bigger thing right now. We've had a pretty eventful like week and like last week as well, like driving, like we drove down here last weekend and then drove home and then drove back. So like, it's probably good just to have like a, a weekend like off leading into like a bigger meet. Yes, that is also a good point. And that reminds me that earlier in the video, I alluded to the fact that it's been a bit of a stressful week. Yeah, the week started with us driving home from San Diego to Santa, back to Santa Barbara, basically like packing up our place in Santa Barbara, getting ready to move back down here, having to do that drive again. Also earlier in the week, we got our COVID vaccinations, which absolutely kicked our butts. Like I'm talking like we had 24 hours where we didn't leave the bed, migraine, full body chills and aches. It was bad. That was definitely not ideal. Missed one of my technical um, sessions earlier in the week because of it. So all in all, the stars were not aligning for me this week. Um, so I'm okay to sit this one out. It's frustrating. Definitely wanted to compete. Definitely want to like keep with my forward momentum. But as I said to Taylor, even if I did just say, okay, I'm going to tough it up and compete, there was still a chance of me losing that momentum. You know, if I didn't if it didn't go the way that I wanted, which I think it would have been difficult for it to go the way that I wanted. I just think sometimes as an athlete, you need to like know the difference of like being a baby and being smart. And I think I'd like to think that I'm someone who's never just going to be a baby and that this is the right call. And now I'm really just trying to talk myself into the fact that it's the right call. So I'm just going to stop here, but hopefully... Like, it's just, like, playing it smart yeah. for, for a meet, a big meet, like, the biggest meet down mm -hmm. here for yeah. you yeah. next week. Like, so let's say one of you guys have, like, conferences next week. Like, you're not going to compete in the rain and the cold the week before. It's just, like, not worth it. It's just, yeah. yeah. Like, if it was these conditions next week in Mount Sac, like, hell yeah, sign me up. Yeah. Like, of course I'm going to compete because it's worth it in a case like this. But in a meet like today, it's just, it's... The it's not worth pros it. of not competing outweigh the pros of competing. Yeah, sure. So a lot of you may be thinking, oh no, you didn't compete today. You can't have your cheat meal. Wrong. You guys are wrong. <laughs> don't try to tell me what I can and cannot do. I don't think anybody's Everybody's thinking. thinking it, Taylor. They're all judging. I can see you guys. So we're gonna head home, I'm gonna get out of my competition gear, and we're still gonna order a pizza, and I'm gonna stroll into practice tomorrow. <laughs> like nothing happened. Oh God, what a week. 
thank you to our sponsor, Canadian Tire Hyde Park, uh, for supporting us in this journey, allowing us to be here, allowing us to make these smart decisions. I'm not competing today, so I can compete even better next week. It's going to be really good. Make sure you are subscribed. So we're going to have some good content coming for you this week. And that's it. Thanks so much for watching and we will talk to you guys next time. Bye.